I'll be going over how to download VirtualBox for your Mac Mini M4. Um, the process has changed slightly because the website has been updated. So this is what you'll do. Firstly, we'll go to Google search and type VirtualBox download and go to the first option. And then what we want to do is choose the Mac OS Apple Silicon host. So if you don't end up on this page, just click on the top download button and that should bring you to this page. And then once you're here, you want to click on this and save the file to whatever name you want. Double click the downloaded file and that will open this installer. Select the virtualbox.pkg file. So double click on this. And then you want to click on continue. And then here you'll just wait for a pop-up to appear or you can try clicking. And then when this pop-up comes up, it's for the installer to get access to the download folder. You just want to click on allow. Once that's done, choose how you want to install uh, the software. So I want to install for all users, and then it will show you how much memory it will take up. If you make a mistake, you can change the location as well. You can customize and see what files are being downloaded. I just want to keep everything there. So click on install, type in your password, and then click install software. So then it will start downloading a load of files. It will take quite a bit of time, up to 20 minutes or longer. You can in the time, meantime explore the user manual if you want to have a look through it as well. Um, that's quite helpful if it's your first time using VirtualBox. But yeah, at one point it will say four hours. Uh, that's just random. It's going to very quickly reduce. So within like five minutes, it should come down to a minute. It also depends on your internet connection. It'll be stuck on a minute for a bit of time. But then once it's fully downloaded, it will say installation complete. And then you can move the file to trash. And then we want to go to Finder. And then here you'll find VirtualBox. So just click on that. Once you've clicked on it, this box will open. And here you can change the settings. So we can go to Preferences. And we can change the general settings. We can check for updates. Uh, we can change the language. And then we can also change the dis display settings as well. So you can change the font scaling. You can also change from basic to expert mode, which opens this proxy setting at the bottom as well, and a few other things, but we'll just leave that for now. So that's essentially it. Now, if you want to create a virtual machine, what you would do is click on new, and then here you'd give it a name to start with. You would choose the folder that you want to have the virtual machine in. You would choose the ISO image file. And then what you would do is choose the type, and then the subtype, and then the version if you want, and then click on OK. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like, subscribe, and share.